Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcel Fontenot. Tonight, the Acadiana community is continuing to rally around those affected by Saturday's deadly plane crash. In Lafayette, a prayer service and mass was held at St. Pius Catholic Church. Our Chris Welty joins us with more in our top story. Even when my eyes can see And this mountain that's in front of me in a time when many people are questioning why Saturday's plane crash happened, more than 200 people gathered at St. Pius Catholic Church in search of comfort. Bestow on your departed servants your great mercy. Bishop J. Douglas Desitel says in times of tragedy, it's important to turn to faith for the answers the world doesn't give us. We ask the question why and the world has no answers for it. As people of faith, we believe, of course, that the, even a tragedy is not the end of the story. The prayer service and mass focusing on remembering those who died in the crash, healing the survivors, and consoling their families. But we are very fragile and things can happen, you know, that are tragic, but to keep our faith in those times of tragedy and times of accident, knowing that uh, in the end, uh, Christ overcame even the worst uh, thing and that we share in that same promise of resurrection to everlasting life. Bill and Lee Daigle don't personally know any of those involved in the crash, but say there's power in prayer. And that's the reason why we came uh, to, to Mass and uh, just to offer up our prayers uh, for them and their healing process. It's, it's a shock for the community. And so everybody's going to go through this, you know, why did this happen? Like he said, you know, why? So it will take time even years. In Lafayette, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. And today, Gretchen and Walker Vincent were remembered. It was the first memorial service for the five passengers killed in that plane crash. The family asked those who attended to wear purple and gold in support of the mother and son's love for LSU. Kelly Orgeron, the wife of LSU head coach Ed Orgeron, spoke at today's memorial. She said she was honored to be asked to do so and said the Tiger community is there with the family. And Chris, I, I will say that Ed and myself, we will be in constant prayer that God engulfs you with the peace that only he can do. And for the friends of Walker, I know how hard it is. But during those hard times, just look to the one that can help you through these sad times. The lone survivor of the crash, Stephen Wade Burzas, remains hospitalized tonight at Our Lady of Lourdes burn unit after suffering burns to more than 75% of his body. At last check, he remains in critical condition. For the latest on funeral arrangements and updates on survivors, go to our website or our KTC app. Here's Rob's 